Here's how you can create an eye-catching YouTube outro video by using one of our remixable templates. Start by clicking the link in the description of this video. If you don't already have a Clipchamp account, the link will allow you to create one for free. Then once logged in, you'll be taken straight into the editor where this ready to use YouTube outro video template will be preloaded for you. Then the only thing you'll need to do is personalize the template by changing the background video to something of your own, updating the text to your own social handle, and if you'd like to, update the music to something different. Firstly, to personalize the template, you'll need to update the background video to something of your own. Do this by navigating over to the Import Media button, selecting your asset and hitting Open. It will load into your media library over here. Now, to update the stock, drag and drop your media into the timeline, placing it on top of that stock footage and dropping it in to replace it. Do this for both of the stock pieces in the timeline and then your background video will update. The next step is to adjust the text here as you want it to read as your own social media handle. To do this, click on the top text bar in your timeline and it will highlight in green so that you know which one you've selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click into the text tab. Here you can adjust what the text says, update the font to something different, change the size of the text, or change the text color to something new. Firstly, to edit what the text says, click into this edit text button here, and then over in the video preview, you'll type out what you'd like it to say. For example, I'll change this to my own social media handle. Now to update the font, click into the font drop-down button and then scroll through all of the options. Just simply click on the font that you want to use and it will automatically adjust. You can do this as many times as you'd like until you're happy with the look of the text. Now to adjust the size, just drag this size slider either left or right like this until you're happy with how it looks. Lastly, to change the text color, click into the color button and then either enter in a color code, choose from a default color option, or jump into the HSV color picker and have a play around for something more specific. But for this example, I'm going to keep it set to white. Now, if you'd like to update the text, font or colors of this text over here, just click on those text bars in the timeline and follow the same steps as before until you're happy. Lastly, if you're not a huge fan of the preloaded music, you can change this. Just navigate over to the content library tab, click into the drop down arrow of the audio tab and then select music. Now you can either search through one of our custom content collections or up here in the search bar, you can type in something specific. For example, I'll search for R&B. Just hit the play button on the tracks for a bit of a preview of what they sound like. And then when you found the one that you want to use, just drag and drop it into the timeline placing it on top of that old audio track and then drop it in to replace it. Now your background music will be updated. Once you're completely happy with your YouTube outro and all your edits are complete, you'll export it by heading over to the export button, selecting your video quality. And then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will save to your device all ready for you to share. Now, when you do upload your outro video to your YouTube channel, this specific outro template is designed so that you can add in an end screen video that will fit perfectly in the top right hand corner here. So to give it a go, just click on the remixable link in the description of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how to videos.